this is part three. Um, as you confessed and saw that our hearts need to be prodded a, either a little or a lot more towards this cry of Maranatha, I, I want to ask, um, are you ready? Are you ready for the com coming back of Jesus Christ? Whether this means that you're going to meet him uh, in your passing or whether that means he's coming in our generation, I don't know those things. Um, but uh, I was recently reading a, a devotional that was saying that um, comparing uh, two things. Um, there's a passage in Matthew that compares uh, Jesus is coming to, to being like a thief in the night. Um, that no one knows the day or the hour. And no one does know the day and the, or the hour. However, that does not excuse us from being ready and being prepared for that day or the hour. Um, because later in that passage, it, it, it really shines a light on, on believers who are called, commanded to be ready for his return. Um, so there's this, this um, comparison of someone who breaks in to a home in the middle of the night and that person is not ready. Um, but also this beautiful comparison to this bride who is ready for her groom, for the bridegroom to come back and for him to take her to that, uh, that feast, that wedding feast. And so what I want to do is I want to explore both of those uh, for a moment and ask where you're at. Um, if you read through uh, Matthew um, 24, 42 through 44 in question four, it says, therefore be alert since you don't know the day your Lord is coming, but know this. If the homeowner had known what time the thief is, was coming, he would have stayed alert and not let his house be broken into. This is why you must also be ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour that you do not expect. I want to uh, share a brief story and give a, a little example. Let's say that you go to the store uh, tonight at 10 p.m., um, I know I know it's not possible with quarantine, but let's say you just do, and you overhear somebody talking, saying, "I am going to break in to this specific address." And you're like, "Wait a minute, that's my address! Oh my goodness!" And this person said, "It's going to be after midnight," and you're like, "Oh my goodness, I I, I need need to get home." And let's say that you get home at 11 p.m. and you're like, oh, I am just so tired. I need to get to bed. And you go to bed and um, and you're like, oh, I, I was too sleepy. And at 4 or 5 p.m., somebody breaks into your house. You cannot claim that you didn't know that the thief was coming. <laughs> you knew he was coming. You had no idea what time, but you knew in general that he was coming. And yet you were too sleepy to stay awake and stay alert. There's a, uh, I'm going to make a comparison here to, do you remember uh, when Jesus asked his disciples to stay up and pray with him in the garden? And what did they do? They, they fell asleep. And here this hour was coming, and yet they fell asleep in the very task that they were asked to do. And here you have this comparison. I know something is coming. I know that God has something planned, but I'm just too sleepy. I'm just, I, I don't care enough to do the work that God has called me to. In the same way, um, there is another analogy um, of um, great beauty. And it's this bridegroom returning for her bride. If you look in Revelation 19, 6 through 7, it, it's very different from this man who, who falls asleep in his house and who is unready for the thief in the night. And it says, hallelujah, because our Lord God, the Almighty, has begun to reign. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory because the marriage of the Lamb has come and his wife has prepared herself. Now, in the same way, 
that wife didn't necessarily know the exact hour, but she knew and she was preparing for the coming of her bridegroom. And she was ready. I remember when I was preparing for my own wedding, it was um, quite the uh, fiasco because I was doing it from overseas. Um, I knew that I was engaged. I knew that I was getting married. And um, uh, I had Google Sheets. I had Skype calls. I had put everything into place. And um, to be short, I, I moved home on a Saturday and was supposed to get married 11 days later. And um, within those 11 days, all of my plans, all of our plans were completely shattered uh, by a storm that was supposed to be coming in. <laughs> and it had been predicted. The storm had been predicted. And um, in fact, I got a call from the place that was supposed to, we, we were going to get married at Lakeside Chautauqua. And they said, do you know that three other weddings in the area have been canceled for this day? You better be careful. And in that time, um, I remember um, going to Brian and saying, what do we do? And um, we had to literally give up all of our plans, uh, knowing that trouble was coming. <laughs> and sure enough, one of the biggest storms of the um, of the year <laughs> uh, came on that very day. We had no power in the morning. There was it was just absolute craziness to tell the story. Uh, but I remember sitting there and praying with Brian and saying, I am going to marry you on that day, no matter what, no matter what trouble comes. And um, sure enough, on that day, what was interesting was um, I remember the storm going like crazy outside. And yet my eyes were set on my bridegroom. And there was the greatest peace ever. And it still brings tears to my eyes because I walked down that aisle knowing that in a matter of moments that our vows would be uh, given and that we were going to enter into this beautiful thing called marriage. In the same way, I think that um, trouble will be coming as we know. <laughs> Will we have a calm and steady heart ready for the moment that we are called to walk down that aisle, even though the storms are great around us? And so what I want you to do, I want to ask you a question tonight. Are you the sleepy man in the house that knows that Jesus is coming and doing nothing about it? Or are you preparing yourself during the storm? knowing that your Savior is coming and ready to have a calm and steady heart to walk in faith, knowing that you will be at the marriage feast of the Lamb very soon, whether that is in your going to Jesus Christ or in his coming. <laughs>